Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well today and staying safe. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the reversible ribs beanie. So this is what it looks like. Um, I call it the reversible ribs beanie because it is reversible. So you can wear your ribs vertical like this. This is, is how I will probably wear mine. Or oh, like magic, you flip it to and now you got some horizontal you seen in the picture any way you like it though it's completely up to you i'll give you a measurement on it now this hat should fit anywhere in between uh 19 to 22 inch head i do tell you uh at, when the time comes how you can make it uh bigger if you'd like so and then from top to bottom measures about seven and a half to about seven and a half inches so yeah seven and three quarters and also you can make it longer or shorter if you prefer you see what it looks like on me and i do have a 21 and a 21.5 inch head so that's why it fits me quite nicely so let's go ahead and get started on it if you know all you have to know how to do is front post double crochet and regular double if you could do that you got this down and boy is it pretty it's nice and thick too nice and thick keep you warm works great for a man or a woman all right so don't forget as always to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any um of my videos and please check out my hundreds and hundreds of tutorials that i already have i have everything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them okay so for this uh particular hat you, um this is all i have left it was a, it was a hank of yarn I use uh, Malabrego Rios in the color glitter. When I opened this up, I said, oh my gosh, that is some of the prettiest yarn I've ever seen. That will definitely be made into a hat for me. And here it is. <laughs> I knew what it was going to be as soon as I saw it. So this is a, a four weight 100% um, superwash merino wool. Of course, you do not have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four will work. There are 210 yards in the hank, and this is what I have left. So you're probably going to need about 10, about 200 yards of yarn. Um, that, yeah, that's that's you know that's the way it is. Probably about 200 yards. Remember, definitely don't have to use this brand any four weight is fine and then i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook you guys ready let's do this all right so first we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook and we're going to go ahead and work a chain of four one two three Four. and now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring if you want to use the magic circle here that would be fine too okay now we're going to chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch and what we're going to do is work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring so we yarn over and go through that ring draw a loop and do our double crochet we want to do that 12 times so that counts as number one two three four five all right once you get your 12 double crochets on row one you can usually pull your tail and close up that center circle a little bit more and then later on we can sew it as we hide this tail all right so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into our first double crochet not the chain one but the first double and now at the end of round one we'll have a total of 12 stitches all right so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working at two front posts of double crochets around the posts of every stitch from row one so we're gonna chain one okay now if you look here this is our first stitch it has the chain one and the double crochet there 
we're going to front post double crochet go around the chain one and the post there every time you start a row you'll go around both of those and do a front post double crochet and then again we're going to do another one in the same spot so around that chain one and the post there we go now we're going to work the same thing two front post double crochets around every stitch so we're going to go out to the next stitch go around the post of it and do our front post double twice there's one there going around the same post again there's two again go to the next stitch and work two front post doubles around the post of it so there's one there's two and then we go to the next one same thing two front post double crochets around the same stitch and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around two front post doubles around the post of every stitch from the previous row until we get back to our starting point all right so i've made it to the end of round two and i'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first front post double crochet and you should have a total of 24 stitches now so let's go ahead and start round three so we're going to chain one and we're going to we kind of kind of move them apart because sometimes the post just kind of stick together but for our first one we're going to put one front post double crochet around our first stitch here and remember the first stitch always has this chain one here that little bitty chain there so yarn over and go around that chain one and the post like that and do a front post double crochet just one and now we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to put two front post double crochets around the post of the next stitch so two around this one like that and that's the repeat now for row three so the next post here remember you got to kind of wiggle them around because they get stuck together right here we'll get one front post double crochet and then the next one will get two front post double crochets around the same stitch so there's one and there's two again the next one will get one front post double crochet around the stitch and then the next one will get two front post double crochets around the same stitch and we're going to repeat this pattern of one front post double around the next stitch and then two front post doubles around the next all the way around until I get back to my starting point all right so i've made it to the end of round three and your last stitch should have had two front post double crochets in it and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first front post double crochet here and you should have a total of 36 stitches now so let's go ahead and start round four we're going to chain one now on our first front post double crochet remember we go around this chain one here and the post that's just on that first one so we're going to go ahead and front post double crochet around that first one just one and then we're going to put one front post double crochet around the next one and now the next stitch will put two front post double crochets around the same stitch so there's one and again is two and that's going to be the repeat for round four one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches so one here and then one here 
and then two front post double crochets around the next. So there's one and two. So this is a repeat. One front post a double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So one around this one. And then one around this one. That one always kind of, kind of hides there. And then two front post doubles around the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. So one front post double, one front post double, two front post doubles. One front post double, one front post double, two front post doubles. All the way around till we get back to our starting point. All right, I've come to the end of row four, and your last stitch should have two front post double crochets in it. We're going to end by slip stitching into our first front post double crochet, and you should have a total of 48 stitches now. All right, let's begin row five. So we're going to chain one, and we're going to do a front post double. Remember, we do it around on the first one, around this chain one here and the post just on this first one so go right around and do a front post double crochet and then we're going to front post double crochet into the next stitch just one front post double crochet into the next stitch just one and then the next stitch we'll put two front post double crochets around that one So there's one and there is two so that is the repeat now for round five one front post double crochet in each of the next three stitches so there's one one in the next makes two one in the next makes three and then the next stitch will get two front post double crochets around the same stitch. Oops, sorry. There's one. And there is two. Again, one front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches. There's one. One in the next makes two. One in the next makes three. And two front post double crochets around into the next. There's one there. And one in the same spot. And this is the repeat for round five. One front post double crochet into the next three. And then two front post doubles into the next. And go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around to get back to your starting point. All right, I come to the end of round five and your last stitch should have two front post double crochets in it. And let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first front post double crochet. And now you should have 60 stitches. Let's go ahead and start round six. Round six, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do a front post double crochet around the first stitch like we always do. Make sure to include that chain one. And we're going to do a front post double crochet in each of the next three. So including that, those three, and then the first one we did, we have a full four front post double crochet in a row. So the next stitch will get two front post double crochets in the same stitch and that'll be the repeat for round six one front post double crochet in each of the next four stitches there's one two 
three, four, and then the next stitch will get two front post double crochets into the next. So there's one and then another into that same stitch. And this is what we're gonna repeat for round six all the way around. One front post double crochet in each of the next four, and then the next one will get two front post double crochet. One front post double crochet in each of the next four, and then the next one will get two front post double crochets all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, so I've made it to the end of round six, and again, your last stitch should have two front post double crochets in it, and we're gonna go and end by slip stitching into our first front post double crochet, and you should have a total of 72 stitches now. Now, if you want a bigger hat than um, what I mentioned this would fit, you can go around again in the same manner that we just did by putting one front post double crochet in the next five, and then two front posts into the next all the way around and then you would have a total of 84 stitches but i'm going to stop now and i have 72 stitches at the end of round six so this is the size that i want it to be so we're going to start round seven 72 stitches now is that's the magic number that's the amount of stitches that we're going to have now all the way around so it's very easy from now on we're going to chain one and we're going to do one front post double crochet in every single stitch so we will not be increasing anymore but remember on the first stitch that we always go around the chain one and the front post double just on that first one go ahead and front post double crochet around like that and now we're going to work one front post double crochet in every stitch all the way around so no more increasing All right, I'm going to continue working my one up front post double crochet all the way around for round seven until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. And your reverse side. Okay, I'll see, meet back up with you here at the beginning. All right, I have made it to the end of round seven and I still have 72 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first front post double crochet. And now I'm just gonna keep repeating around a seven. Now I had to look kind of funny at first until you get more rows on it and then it'll start to look like a hat. So if it looks weird at first, that's normal. So just again, just repeat uh, round seven by chaining one and front post double crochet one time in every stitch all the way around this is round eight we're working on now and when you make it back to round to the beginning you will slip stitch into your first front post double crochet and you'll still have 72 stitches following along with me and then you'll start again repeating so from now on it's just rounds of one front post double crochet in every stitch and i'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows i do all right so i have done a total of 22 rounds and that is starting from round one all the way down is 22. it's okay if it's flipped up a bit it's when you're working with post stitches that's what happens so we're going to take care of that right now so you still should have your 72 stitches if you're following along with me now if this is a hat for you and you want to try it on first um you if you want to make it longer or shorter by all means you could add or take away as many rows as you'd like but 20 two is what I am on right now so 
I just ended with the slip stitch into my first front post double crochet there. Okay, now we're gonna start row 23. I'm gonna chain one. Now I'm gonna go around, go back into the top of the stitch. I'm gonna be working single crochet now. I'm gonna put a single crochet row. So one single crochet right back into that very first stitch. And then I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch around until I make it back around to my starting point. Just like this. Just to give you a nice uh, finished edge on the bottom here. Take care of a little bit of that flipping. Flipping of the stitches. So one single on the top of every stitch and so you make it back around to your starting point and that is where I'll meet back up with you. All right, I have made it back around to my starting point. Now, if you want to go around more with single crochet, by all means, you can. I'm just going to do the one round. It took care of the flipping of the ribs and it made it give it a nice clean, clean finished edge. So I still have my 70 uh, two stitches so we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet and let's go ahead and tie this off clip it and now we can hide our tails so I'm gonna take my yarn needle and use this piece of yarn here we have a couple of tails to hide so I would go back through the one I just slip stitched in Kind of just give a little bit of tug till it looks pretty even. And then I go underneath from behind. I normally wouldn't show this, but some people will ask if I would show how I hide my tail. So I just kind of do it probably like everybody else. Just if you do it just right, you can almost tell that there is... Anyways, I weave it in a few times here and then I'll turn around in the opposite direction and go back. Weaving it in that should lock it down in place. And I'm off camera. I apologize. Okay, that's good enough for me on that part. Let me fix this. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to do that one hole, there's that hole at the top. Remember we said I said we take care of that later. So... If you got a hole here at the top of your hat, it's easy to close with your tail just by sewing around in a circle. And it just tightens it right up. So, I just take it and I go right around like this. Pull it tight as I go. And I'm just weaving around Get a tug. 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 And just like that. Just like it never even happened. Now I'm going to go back in the opposite direction. Um, and give it a lock, lock it in there. There you go. Close it up. That's it. Cool. I love it. I love it. I do. I think it's beautiful. I do. And here you go. A reversible for whatever mood you're in. Horizontal. Or the vertical ribs. It's your choice is up to you. I like the vertical though. That's how I'll be wearing it. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that you're able to follow along okay. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That like button. Give this video a share if you can. And if you make this or anything else, you can always show me a picture on my Instagram page. Come give me a follow. Hashtag me at Bag Day Crochet. Show me what you're up to. And until next time, bye everybody. Have a good day.